What's going on, family? Hope everybody's enjoying this early stage of airy season, okay? I just want to stop by with an energy update right now. We got the moon and Leo, guys. So we're dealing with that double fire energy. I already told y'all things is really upbeat, intense. People getting into a whole bunch of car accidents. People making a whole bunch of spontaneous, impulsive decisions because we... Whenever we jumping into airy season, it's going to put us in that exciteful like energy. It's going to put us in that aggressive like energy. More so when it comes to our personal priorities, passions, desires, all right, personal aspirations. But for the most part, that energy is pretty intense overall. And we have Venus and Aries too. So when it comes to our love language, we're pretty individual. Like I was saying earlier in the week, you know, with the, set, the ability to compromise is a bit debilitated at the moment right now. But... With the moon transiting Leo, we already know all the positives that come with, you know, airy season and fire energy. A bunch of creativity, a bunch of new insight, a bunch of new awareness. Fire energy is always going to help you to see things. This is why fire signs have trouble being in the present because in their relationships and careers, when they're communicating to people, sometimes they see too much, especially Aries. They can see it ahead of things. This fire correlates to a real futuristic like energy. So us dealing with this heavy fire energy, we gotta make sure that, you know, we grasp being in the present because spon spontaneous actions and uh, reactions can be our detriment, you know, because things are just very quick paced right now, but we're heavily stimulated in the creative department. Now with the moon transit in Leo, we know every time the moon transits Leo, we're being influenced to react and respond to our creativity in some type of shape or form and to our artistic attributes, to the things we want to put on the stage and express, expression overall. Okay, once again, fire is always going to deal with something you can see, something you can feel, and fire always lights up. Okay, so when we're looking at the moon transit in Leo, sun and Aries family, a whole bunch of new insight and awareness that comes with this alignment, a whole bunch of clarity that comes to how you want to creatively express yourself. Certain things in your personal life is just a, is a, a just look at it as us getting equipped with a bunch of new flashlights to see a whole bunch of new things. So give yourself a chance to be in the present to react to what you're going to be seeing during this transit correctly. You know, we're getting ready for, uh, you know, the full moon in Libra and this transit is helping us to see some things in the world as to how certain people places and things affect what we want to do creatively with this double fire alignment okay so i just really want to have us understand the positive and negative spectrums of, of basically us dealing with a dose of what's such a dynamic energy now you know when we get into that full moon in libra that uh that energy is going to be about us understanding how our relationships play a part with our new aspirations and new goals in the new year. So us leading up to that uh, energy, we got to be able to filter everything that's supportive or a detriment to what we want to bring into the world this new year. Okay, every new cycle, every new year, this has to be wisdom. There has to be gems that were extracted from the previous year. You know, if you feel like you're not bringing in so much from the previous year, you're looking at it wrong. You're looking at your previous year wrong. You, you fuck the material gains and where you want to be at with career a lot of the times we underestimate the the spiritual gems the lessons that we've been through in our experiences we have to value that the same way we value monetary gains and physical physical realm success all right so the more we can apply that to this spring season which is a new cycle a new stage all right influence for new things you, we have to be able to correlate what we've been going through in the previous year to help us see what friends, what people, what environments, what schedule, what mindset, what outlook, what uh, emotional uh, form of stability we need to be in to accomplish what it is, what it is that we've given birth to in Aries season. So this Leo moon transit is really going to put us in the energy where we're, we're feeling like it's, it could be easy to see the things that the people, places and things that play out as a detriment to how you want to express yourself because we're all in a heavy expressive energy right now. So be careful not to let your ego get ahead of yourself right now because you want to express something. You want to have something be seen in a certain way and another person, place or thing is playing out as a blockage with that. You know, you got to be able to navigate 
universal signs and see maybe that's the environment that your energy isn't accepted and you need to get around people where your energy is accepted. Sometimes we get into these ego class situations trying to be seen when we're not realizing that we just in the wrong environment. People here don't reciprocate my energy, you know, so we just got to be able to pick that up during this transit to help us adjust with what we're doing that's going to be new during the spring season, airy, spe airy season in particular. All right, guys. Uh, another thing I just want to mention, you know, we got uh, we got Mercury still in Pisces. So with us being so expressive, our mind is still in La La Land. You know, Venus and the Sun done transited out of Pisces. So our actions and the way that we what we're valuing and wanting to connect to and get stimulated, stimulated by an essential way. And also how we're dealing with our relationships and love at the moment. It's in a real individual and assertive energy right now. We ain't drifting. We ain't trying to make sense of the emotions. No, we're, <laughs> we're taking initiative. We're expressive. All right. We trying to figure out is you with me or not? Aries energy is an extreme. It's the opposite of the relationship energy of uh, Libra. So with Aries, you can't be wishy-washy with Aries. You can't be up in the air with, any, with Aries. They need to know what's up. They need to know where you stand. They're the I am. So you can always count on the Aries to show you what they are. You know, you can always count on the Aries to be blunt and direct or put place some, some type of stamp on how they want things established in some type of shape or form. All right. So, you know, with our minds still being in La La Land, based off of what we're thinking about with our aspirations, our creativity, our imagination, certain illusions that our minds may still be on right now. With this type of transit, the way we express these things can be very impulsive. The way we feel like we have to have these things be, these thoughts be seen right now, which these thoughts can be some uh, unrealistic ass thoughts. Yeah, we could be aggressive wanting to push some unrealistic shit out right now. So take your time grasping the present. I feel like I'm always, I feel like no matter what season it is, my Capricorn moon rising ass is always jumping back to grasping the present but nah this energy leading into the weekend we have to we have to understand how critical that is all right family so it should got border like a libra i'm just tuning in family y'all already know what it is i hope y'all continue to have a prosperous and productive day fam